To follow alongside the characters behind a wide fence in a windowed view, this gives the effect that they are caged in and portrays the crime aspect. The hierarchy between the pair is established early. Somerset enters the scene followed by Mills. The scene grows darker the deeper we enter it. This darkness is used to convey the thriller aspect as it plays on the fear people have for darkness. I wonder. This small argument only develops exactly hierarchy further. Somerset struggles to control the Mills' rebellious attitude. No. Sort of a good cop, bad cop concept, common within the crime genre. Dead. What's that, the lights are out? The torch is the only light source that the pair have to rely on. It is also the audience's. Brad Pitt sniffs the air, suggesting a stench. This causes the audiences to unknowingly guess what it might be, creating a mystery aspect to the scene, another key trait of crime. A motivated edit to what Somerset sees. This conveys the investigation convention of crime drama. It takes time to find the small details. Brad Pitt cocks his head to the side curiously. He's cautious, a key skill of a detective. Both remain unmoved by the corpse. This is because they witness death on the daily. Ah, the graphic cadaver. This is gory and confronting to viewers. This is typical of the thriller genre. Strained instrumental sounds have seemingly picked up in volume since the beginning of the scene. This is another tool used to heighten tension, typical of the thriller aspect of crime thrillers. Again, Morgan Freeman cocks his head to the side to reveal his curiosity. He spotted something the audience isn't aware of yet heightening the tension of the scene some more. Inserts are used to clear important clues. No dialogue is needed to express the clues that have been found. How about that? That's the end of my scene deconstruction. Thanks for watching.